Hello all. Today I will demonstrate you how to validate email address in Android using Kotlin. So let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then here you can just provide the name of your application. I'm just giving the name of my application is validate email address. Then you can choose the language. I'm choosing the language that is Kotlin. Then you can click on finish. Let me mention what I want to do. I want to take a one button and one edit text. Whenever user enter the email address in edit text, I want to validate for every character. For each character, I want to check is it valid or not. If that email address is valid, then I want to enable the button. If it is not valid, then I want to disable the button. So let's first uh, design the thing. I'm just uh, removing this hello world over here. You can just click and you can click on delete. Then you can uh, just click over here that is so system UI. Then you can minimize this. Then you can move to the split window. Now here you can add one edit text over here. Let me mention edit text type email address is over here. It will not validate the email address. It will just provide you the keypad in which at the rate is there. Right. So it is just used for the input type. It is not for the validation. I'm just taking it over here that is email address whenever you took this uh, you can just click on the infer constraint if you are using the constraint layout let me change the name of my email uh, edit text over here i'm just giving the name of my edit text that is ed1 whenever user enter any text over here i want to validate it right so i'm just giving the name that is edit text here you can take a one button over here let me click on infer constraint over here also this is the button that is uh, you can say uh, this button is for the proceed or anything else so you can just uh, change the text if it is required now i want that this button should be enabled false it means i don't want the button enable until or unless user provide the correct email address so i'm just uh, disabling this button now whenever user enters uh, any email address over here i want to check it is runtime and if it is correct then i want to enable this button so let me move to the code here in kotlin you can directly access your edit text you can simply write ed1 dot here now you can call the add text change listener function here you can provide the text watcher text watcher is the class which having three methods that you need to implement right uh, the methods like on text change before text change and after text change so whenever you call it anonymously you need to override the method so here in object you can just uh, press the alter enter and it will ask you for the implement the members so you can implement the three methods over here one is after text change before text change and on text change now i will uh, i don't want the to do over here so you can just move to that particular line and you can press the control y to remove that particular line so i'm just pressing the control y on each line of the to do now whenever the text is a change i want to check that email id is valid or not so i'm just uh, checking for this so here you can uh, write the if condition if android dot util dot pattern is the class android dot util dot patterns dot email address dot matcher now you need to provide the input so i'm just providing the input that is edit text one dot text dot to string dot matches if it is matched it means that uh, user email id is valid if it is there then i want that button should be enabled so i'm just doing what button dot is enabled is equal to true if it is not valid i'm just checking it for the every character if it is not valid then button dot is enabled is equal to false as well as i want to set some error so i'm just writing what edit text one dot set error and here you can pass the message that is invalid email right so let me uh, check that it is working properly or not you can execute this application what i did whenever user press any character on edit text I'm just checking for every text if that particular text is match with the email ID then I'm just enabling the button let's just check see button is by default disabled I'm just uh, uh, 
writing here character for example p it giving me that invalid email address i'm just writing here parag at the rate now i'm just writing gmail see still it is invalid dot suppose if i write com see button is uh, enabled and invalid email address is gone suppose if you pass here dot again it will be disabled and the email id is invalid so this is the way you can implement uh, validation of the email address runtime if user uh, once uh, enter the email address pool and then uh, they just change the uh, value then also it will not allow you need to write the email id valid then and then you can proceed with this button so this is the way you can implement validation of email address in android that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you